Hello world, how are the people of the internet tonight? This is Les and Sclay, and I'm with Sky Scythe, the man of five million buffs? Sprite buffs? Hi. Hi. Hi, you're here to help me demonstrate some stuff, I think. Because uh, the April Fool's patch, quote unquote, came out today, and so you got talking monsters and all that fun stuff. But we also have um, the console commands. You had, you, if you listen to the Arsenal podcast, you were talking, we saw... We were talking about this. We saw console commands in the game files, and we were trying to and said, okay, so what happens if I do slash console? It turns out that there's actually console commands enabled, and we don't know who it works for. I know it works for me, so I'm here. I've found a, a few commands, and so Sky, Th Sky Scythe will be helping me use them. I can use normal slash commands, slash wave, slash bow, all that, but if I go slash console, it will say console command executed. It's a little bit derpy at the moment, but, uh, again, I don't know who this works for and who it doesn't. But we found a few commands and want to show some of these off. So we're here in an arena in depth one, but we want eternal orbs, as you clicked on this video for. So we want to go with mob drop. So all mob drops of drop.material.star. So that means a star in programming just means everything. So every material, we're going to do an action, which is, thank you, just replace the drop rarity orb five um, and so that's the eternal orb we want to do that and we also want to go back and we want to replace this with box drop because this is for treasure boxes and we want to drop dot rarity dot fire all of them dot start which means all fire crystals are going to get replaced with five star orbs so anytime we'll see fire crystals instead it will drop us some orbs so I can hit that command cool now, uh, the other thing is that you can use UVs uh, with uh, weapons, so I'm going to go ahead and add me some UVs. Let's start doing some fighting, and then we'll add some UVs to Sky Scythe too, um, just to show you how this works. So, uh, weapon, slot dot zero. <laughs> yeah. Slot dot zero, because in programming, uh, you start with zero. The first slot in what's called an array is a stored space is zero. Then it moves to one, two, and then three is the weapon slot. So you start with slot zero, which is actually slot one. Uh, which in this case is just my proto sword, and I can say for me the weapon slot of Lads and Sclay, apply a UV of speed dot max, and it will take that command and let's do that like eight times. Cool. Now this proto sword, it like glitches out really bad, but I can swing really fast, and my swift strike buckler doesn't really affect that very much, but I can swing. Basically, like you can see black swords cutting off of me. It's breaking the game a little bit. I like your eternal shield, by the way. Thank you. I like standing in this. But that's not affecting me either. I can be over here and swing just as fast. So there's that. Did it keep my thing up? Thank you. So let's go to slot one, um, which is my second slot. I have a Korovod in my other slot because that's one of the best trickers I have. And let's apply a UV of curse because there's these new status UVs, I guess, that you can enable if you are uh, using the console and what that does is it adds ooh, 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 ooh. try it again there we go uh, I, I didn't know if it added if it did it'll just add it again that's fine but uh, it'll add a purple aura to my swing and then my swing will actually have a chance to deal curse now so I have my Korovod that will deal curse so neat that's me let's get into you once we do a little bit of fighting just so I can show everyone how this works and then we can get into it shall we Yes. Let's go. And things like guild chat still work. I can say bye to guild and stuff like that. Um, all it is is that console. Console works for everyone in the party. So if Sky Scythe were to equip his proto sword, this would work just as well too. So I'm going to see if I can just by chance get curse on any of these guys. Somehow I doubt it. But uh, there we go. Curse. No. All right. But you can see, eternal orbs are dropping all over the place, and Sky Scythe will have those too. I'm taking damage somehow. But, uh, yeah. As if so. I didn't have enough of bloody things. Yeah. Hey, rocket pups. But orb, orb, orb. And you can see in the chat there, it says, You obtained rarity, eternal orb of alchemy. Um, right there. So you can see eternal orb, eternal orb, eternal orb. It's actually adding them all up, which is really neat. And then my super fast sword, which works too. So, 
Oh, that's so good. I'm not getting any curse, but there's another eternal orb. And is this the room? Is the room done? Room done. All right, so let's go see if we can get some fires, and then we'll throw some stuff on you. You have two weapon slots, you were just telling me, right? Your slots just expired? Yeah, as I was loading in. Oh, wow. Oh, well, those fires didn't get reskinned. Ha! Huh. Interesting. Well, my console commands didn't work. It's really buggy, because I'm not sure if it's supposed to work, so it didn't replace those fire crystals, which is weird. I don't understand why that didn't happen. But anyways, we can add some... Uh, it it's buggy, is all, uh, because cheating. But we can take a weapon slot dot star for all of them, basically, for sky, scythe, and we can open an upgrade, and this is an upgrade dot weapon upgrade, and this will open all of his slots. So now you should have all of your slots opened, um, and yes, this is you. And so now I can say weapon, and then slot dot two, which is his third slot, and we'll add like a weapon that you can't get in the game, like a weapon dot, I think it's mace dot malos, I think it is. So I don't know, can you get to your third weapon slot? Oh, look Holy at that. Crap. <laughs> that thing is huge. That's cool, though. What? Yeah. So can you swing that? Like, it'll actually work, right? Yeah. Nice, smallest mace. Sweet. Um, so yeah, it does work. I can console in anybody. And then I can go weapon slot dot three, which is his last slot. And this will work with normal weapons, too. So I can just say bomb dot chemical dot stun. And if you've seen the game files, you know this is just the, the stagger storm. So there you go. And now he should have a stagger storm in his last slot. Whoops. There he is. That is that is crazy. Yeah, and if I inspect him, there's nothing going on here. Look, it's the Heart of Ice. That doesn't have a description because I guess Knights aren't supposed to use it, but it's the Heart of Ice Sword and the Stagger Storm. It's it's just it's all there. So cool. Now shall we fight with your hammer? I wanna see your hammer in action. Let's do it. Let's do it. And I want more eternal orbs. Take mine, please. <laughs> If they didn't come bound, I could really use them, so I'm really happy. Um, I've been farming with this for quite some time now, and, you know, if, if they take it from me, they'll take it from me. I'm trying to get some curse. Oh, there's the curse! So this guy's actually cursed, and if he swings, he will die. More eternal orbs. Oh, an attack buff, so I'm now one-hitting everything in tier one, because, yeah. I'm taking things out without attacking. <laughs> That's that. good, too. Yeah. All right. Sweet. Well, kill everything. You know what? Looking at the thing, the I think the console is really glitchy with like the images and how the images work because I picked up some like warm fire crystals, I think it was. It looked like warm fire crystals, but in my chat it reported as eternal orbs of alchemy. So, wow, that was fast. Tier 1. What do you expect? Yeah. And I got this annoying pop-up on my screen. I have to block that out. Oi. So sorry. But yay tier one. So I guess the console commands are buggy enough so that it doesn't like change the look of the icons, but it'll give me eternal orbs. So you can see I'm getting eternal orbs. And uh, if we actually go to my inventory here and we type in eternal, you can see that I have nearly 5,000 eternal orbs now, which is uh, a bit crazy, but yeah, so yay for more orbs than I can shake a stick at. So there we go. Eoternal. Fast protosword. Broken glitchy very, protosword. Very, very quiet. I'm hunting eternal orbs. <laughs> All 5,000 of them. Any crowns? No crowns. All right, well, let's finish this out with our craziness. And then we'll be. Oops. Oh, and there goes the recon. I want to see like your mace in hops. action. Oh, okay. What I does like it look like when it charges? The... Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> I Sorry. like how he hops on the button just to salute and go by. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to run you over there. Broke both of my legs, and I lost my butt in the Disco Wars. Okay, then. Sweet. All the references, you don't forget. <laughs> I guess. I guess that's probably why I don't get them. Oh, another attack buff. Am I? 
Yes. Uh-oh. Looking for curse. I'm also looking to not disconnect with Sky Scythe. Look at all these eternal orbs. Like, go chat. Like, fill me with... Whoa, that was going in a bad place. I'm not going to finish that sentence. But eternal orbs. <laughs> and I'm so glad that this is tier one because these the turret, this turret room is scary. At one point I had this as well as uh, four rocket puppies in each of the corners and beat it despite having a barber still in shield. And it was difficult, but I didn't need to use my emergency revive. Nice. But you didn't have Mollus's mace either. That's right. <laughs> Ouch. But who needs it? I had at the time all obsidian weapons and bolt edge, I think. Uh huh. Well, nice. Obsidian weapons OP 2016. Huh. And 2015 and 2014. Except for Ac I don't know Akron versus Obsidian Edge. It's kind of weird. But I guess you could put like damage bonus something. We could figure yeah, out. Yeah. See, some... I'm not you. I don't care that much for efficiency. <laughs> I'm more about. Uh, defense, support, and how quickly I can hit my enemies and how reliably. Mm -hmm. So, And I'm sure good looks to have something, to have some play in there. Because of Skype, and uh, we both know how great it is, I heard out of that, I don't... <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Well, I guess then that will be it. So, yay console commands. Console... Yay. It, it, it doesn't do anything. It says executed, but it doesn't do anything. And I can still slash. I can slash bow. I can slash thank Sky Scythe for uh, helping me out and for and being no awesome problem. with a Molo Space. And uh, last thing is console stuff resets once we leave. So uh, all of our stuff will lose once we get off the elevator and hit exit. But that is that. How to get eternal orbs quickly. How to cheat the game. If console works for you, please let us know and give yourself a Mollus Mace for a little bit, because it seems like fun. This is crazy. You look at this in his uh, in his inventory here. It's so big. Look at this. What? I, I, I know, because I gave myself one earlier. That's how I found out that this works. But, man. Okay. It's craziness. Thank you for the pea snow. Don't eat no yellow problem. snow. All right. Rest in peace, super fast sword. Thanks, guys, Scythe. No problem. And, uh, all right, okay, well, we'll see you guys next time. Have a fun time messing with your consoles, and have a good one. <laughs>